Good morning. It's Monday, September 26, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, King Down, and our scripture is Revelation chapter 3, where Jesus says, I correct and discipline everyone I love, so be diligent and turn from your indifference. Look, I stand at the door and knock. If you hear my voice and open the door, I will come in, and we will share a meal together as friends. Those who are victorious will sit with me on my throne, just as I was victorious and sat with my father on his throne. Anyone with ears to hear must listen to the Spirit and understand what he is saying to the churches. In chess, when an opponent has cornered your king to the point where there's no possible move without being taken by another piece. It's checkmate. You've lost the game, and the acknowledgement of your loss is laying down your king. It is this picture that enters my mind whenever I think of Jesus' followers placing the body of Jesus in Joseph of Arimathea's tomb, King Down. This describes the message of a popular hymn in many churches, Victory in Jesus. I heard an old, old story how a Savior came from glory, how he gave his life on Calvary to save a wretch like me. I heard about his groaning, of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sins and won the victory. When you begin to parse the words from the hymn, groaning, blood, sins, wretch, and you envision Jesus' last moments on Golgotha's hill, there doesn't seem to be much quote-unquote victory in it. It reminds me of Homer Rothrock, a member of a church I once served. Homer was suffering from a gastrointestinal block. He was in the hospital in great pain, waiting on the doctors to decide whether or not to operate. As I stood next to my friend, I asked him how it was going, and he looked at me with weary eyes, and he said, I'll tell you, preacher, there ain't much romance in it. Well, thinking about Homer's statement has always brought a smile for the way he could maintain a sense of humor even in the tough times. It also drives me to the issue of human pain in life and how going through a rough patch makes us put aside the mundane in favor of the grand. Christian apologist C.S. Lewis pushed us toward the grand and noble when he wrote, Christianity, if false, is of no importance, and if true, of infinite importance. The only thing it cannot be is moderately important. Moderate is the lukewarm word of Jesus' message to the church of Laodicea, that group of believers who were once white-hot for Jesus and had cooled off like lava from a volcanic eruption that loses its heat, loses its ability to move, and eventually forming into a heap of hardened slag, a small hill of moderate uselessness. For a church, that is an epitaph of shame. Once vital, we cooled off and stopped where we were comfortable. For you today, Wall Street marketing ideas would not include suffering, bleeding, and dying as a great invitation to belong to anything. Yet, this is precisely what Jesus said led to his victory and sitting on heaven's throne, and he invites everyone to join him. So, are you ready to join King Down, or stay with the indifferent, slow-down slag? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.